couch Dogs, me, guitar lessons Hey there, looking referees, welcome to another fingerstyle challenge of the week. In this video, we're gonna learn a nice little moving chord riff that I came up with especially for you guys and girls. Okay? Stole that last lick from uh, Steve Morse. Gotta be honest. So, um, but the rest is mine. So, this is a G over C harmony, and you put your first and fourth fingers on three and three on the E and E strings. The pinky on E, the high E note, the first string, and the third finger on the G note on the E bass string, the sixth string. And that way you have the first and second fingers free to hammer on one and two on strings two and four. Okay? So practice that before you start. Okay, try to try to play with it until it's comfortable. Then the riff goes like this. You play the bass note, you play strings two, three, and four, you hammer on the C over G chord, one on the second string, four on the fourth string. And then you play strings two, three, and four again and you pull them off. And then I strum upwards with my thumb. So it's... Slowly, bass, hammer on, pull off, strum. But the strum should be very, very light. You should just brush over the strings. Very lightly. And then you slide from three to six. Okay? on the 6th string, but leave your pinky on the E string and slide it to 6 as well. You're gonna need it. And while you slide, put fingers 1 and 2 back on strings 2 and 4. So it's this, and you end up with the full shape. Practice that. Then you can either pick strings 1, 2, and 3, or um, that was two, three, and four, or one, two, and three. Okay, you can do whatever you like here. It's your choice. You can variate. I variated in the demonstration. I did this first, and then I did this. Okay, it creates two different harmonies. Both work. And then you take this chord, one fret down, to five, five, and three and four with your first and second fingers and you do the same thing or now the idea here is to be consistent if you pick strings two three and four on this chord pick them on this chord as well if you pick strings one two and three pick them uh pick them pick them on both chords okay so and then First time around, you can pick strings two, three, and four. The second time around, you can pick strings one, two, and three. And you do that three times. Okay, now you can pick strings one, two, and three on the first chord as well. Okay, pick strings two, three, and four uh, to hammer on. And then when you pick them again for the pull off, pick strings one, two, and three. Okay, now what about the fourth string, you ask? When you pull it off, it will sound because it's a pull off. So it will make a sound anyway. See, you can hear this note. So you play this three times any way you like. time you slide into six 
and then you pick the chord, and then you pick the second chord right away. And I like to pick strings one, two, and three, and then strings one, two, three, and six. So it's, so I get the bass note, the A bass note, along with the chord. Got it? Strings one, two, and three, then down to five, and I play strings one, two, three, and six. So, Now for the last lick, bar the first fret on strings one and two, right? And play strings two and three. Hammer on your third and fourth fingers on the third fret on strings two and three. Then play strings one and then two. Then pull off the third and fourth fingers from the second and third strings. So you get this. And again, this automatically plays the third string. Okay, automatically plays the third string. Then put your um, second finger on two on the third string, play strings two and three, and pull off from the third string. Okay, so you get this. Then this. Put your second and third fingers on two and three on strings three and four. Okay, completing this into an F shape. And you play strings three and four and you pull them off. So you get this. Then put them back on and you can take the first finger off now and play them twice. Slide them uh, two frets up to four and five, and then use your thumb or your first finger from three on the sixth string for the G bass note. Okay? And that's it. Um, that's the final lick. So before you go practice this, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. There's a ton of lessons here already and I upload a new one every couple of days and a full finger style arrangement tutorial every couple of weeks. Go download the tab, the link is right below in the description. It's for free, everything on Lekin Riff is for free, but if you want to give something back, there's a large blue donation button right above the tab, you can't miss it, and everything goes right back into Lekin Riff and I thank you in advance for your help in producing these lessons. You go practice this, have fun with this, create your own variations of this. This is just a riff I came up with. I'm not in love with it or something. You can change it to your heart's content and make your own riff out of this. Just steal this. So go practice this, have fun, and I'll see you in the next lesson. Thank you very much for watching. Bye for now.